This video is on VPN. A VPN is simply an encrypted tunnel. It's a mechanism for creating a secure connection between a computing device and a computing network or between two networks using an insecure communication medium such as the internet. Always On VPN is one of the Microsoft's latest remote access solution and is built into Windows 10. Previously, it was called Direct Access. Windows 10 Always On VPN includes support for modern authentication and management, which results in better overall security. It includes support for granular traffic filtering and allows admins to restrict client access to internal resources in a variety of ways. And in addition, traffic filter policies can be applied on a per user or group basis. VPN features split tunneling and full tunneling. Full tunnel means using your VPN for all your traffic, whereas split tunneling means sending part of your traffic through a VPN and part of it through an open network. This means that full tunneling is more secure than split tunneling because it encrypts all your traffic rather than some of it. However, split tunneling is good for speed. There are different ways to implement VPN split tunneling. You could do it by URL-based split tunneling, app-based split tunneling, or inverse split tunneling. The risk with split tunneling is it bypasses security measures like proxy servers designed to keep your traffic secure. And if it's not set up correctly, it can leave room for hackers to access your information. Also, employee could bypass permissions set up on your corporate network, meaning they could access blocked sites or download suspicious malware. Also, corporate IT would lose visibility on anything its employee was doing, including using less secure networks or browsing forbidden sites. There's two types, a remote access VPN, which connects remote users from any location to a corporate network, and a site-to-site -site VPN, which connects individual networks to each other. IP security method is used to create an encrypted tunnel from one customer network to remote side of the customer. In remote access VPN, individual users are connected to the private network and it allows the technique to access the services and resources of that private network remotely. It is most suitable for the business and home users, and multiple users are allowed. Now let's talk about the protocol, IP security. IP security VPN is a protocol consisting of set of standards used to establish a VPN connection. IP security protect IP packets exchanged between remote networks or hosts and an IP security gateway located at the edge of your private network. SSL TLS protect application traffic streams from remote users to an SSL TLS gateway. Simply put, IP security VPNs connect hosts or networks to a protected private network, while SSL TLS VPN securely connect a user's application session to services inside a protected network. And then we got L2TP or Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol, which is an extension to PPP protocol that merges the best features of the two tunneling protocols and is used to support VPN. However, it doesn't provide confidentiality or strong authentication by itself. L2TP is often implemented along with IP security tunneling protocol to secure the connection. You can also use HTML5, which is a way to get VPN using web browser which enables users from external networks to access internal resources using only a browser as a client without installing plugins.